Hey there, Marcus Hutzel here, and I actually need your help today because I'm about to pull what's left of my hair out with my Raspberry Pi 4B. This is running Companion Pi, so it's running the BitFocus Companion software, so I can take just this uh, out into the world and run live shows without having to always have my laptop. And I did a video about this, and in that video I had some problems and I had some suggestions on using the proper power supply because I was having problems with the Raspberry Pi 4B getting stuck in this boot loop. And what I assumed was the problem was just an improper power supply trying to power everything from a USB port on a V-mount battery. But I'm actually still having this problem. This is my second Raspberry Pi with Companion installed. And the problem is this one is still caught in that boot loop and will not boot up. And although I don't have the official Raspberry Pi power supply, I have tried multiple power supplies. This is a five volt up to three amps power supply, which should supply that constant five volts without fluctuating. Uh, this one is currently not working with this Raspberry Pi, and I'll show you what I mean here in a second. This one is just in a little 3D printed case, and I'll put a screenshot of what's inside here. This is also a 12 volt to constant 5 volt USB-C power supply. This is not a quick charge power supply. It doesn't have to renegotiate anything when you plug it in. It's just supplying a constant five volts on the USB-C output. But now this one's not working at least with this Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to plug this in and I'll show you here on this other view what's going on. And you'll wanna look up there at this monitor. I have the HDMI output or I will have the HDMI output of the Raspberry Pi going to that monitor. So let's just plug everything in. And by the way, unplugging the HDMI output doesn't seem to fix it. I've read where having the HDMI output going to a monitor can affect the overall power and maybe the power supply can't handle it. But even without this plugged in, this one still isn't booting. And let's use my power supply here. It's gonna get a 12 volt DC input from the small rig battery. Um, that shouldn't matter because it still wasn't working this morning on this other power supply. So I'm just going to use this one for now, plug it in. We'll go ahead and plug in the network to the Raspberry Pi and we'll plug in the stream deck to the Raspberry Pi as well. Unplugging either of these things doesn't seem to fix the problem. So let's watch the screen up here. See it booting or attempting to boot. And there it rebooted. It's gonna go back through its boot screen attempt to boot up. And there it did not finish booting and it's rebooting and we get the colorful Raspberry Pi starter screen again. It just reboots, which means obviously it's not booting up and I'm not getting a uh, companion or the stream deck to work. And here I've actually recorded the output of the Raspberry Pi on the Atomos Ninja so we can see kind of maybe where it's stopping in the boot process. And we can see here it stopped at network manager dispatcher.service. And I have read on a few forums where if you disconnect power from the Raspberry Pi without properly shutting it down, it can corrupt the file system, but that just doesn't seem like a legitimate answer. Just disconnecting power from something shouldn't automatically corrupt it in my opinion. And this is a brand new OS install that I just flashed to the SD card that's in the Raspberry Pi. And I've tried multiple SD cards. I even bought the ones that Aaron Parecki suggested that have, I think it's the A1 rating. But my other Raspberry Pi is working just fine on this PNY uh, SD card. This isn't anything special. I bought this for audio recording and I had it, it's 32 gigabytes, put it in. And currently my other one is working. And oddly enough, my other one, did have this boot loop problem. So I'm not sure what I did or what the Raspberry Pi did on my other one to get working, but I, I kind of need some assistance here. Um, I don't really know anyone that knows much about Raspberry Pis or why these things are rebooting. So if anyone out there can help me figure out what's going on, why this Raspberry Pi keeps rebooting, that would be lovely because I just don't know why it's doing it. And um, I guess I'll leave it up to the comments section or point me to someone else's video that's had a similar problem because everything that I've found on just trying to Google search said there's something wrong with the power supply, but I've tried multiple different power supplies from different sources and currently nothing is working on this one. I really hope my other one is still uh, going to work. Uh, I have that one installed in an ATEM mini case and luckily the past few times I booted it up, 
it all works just fine. And actually, here's my other setup. I've got this ATEM mini case. I've got a little camera going in so we can see what's going on. I've got my router. I've got a stream deck. And right underneath there, a little hard to see, is the Raspberry Pi. Let me get a flashlight. So I've got that Raspberry Pi running. I actually even have the SD card on an extension cable because I can't really get to the SD card slot on the Pi itself since it's buried. So I've got the OS sitting on that SD card. And at the moment, this system is working just fine. We can see the ATEM there taking commands from the Stream Deck as I do stuff here and go to auto, does all that and it works just fine. And the power supply that's powering that Raspberry Pi it's buried deep in the case, but it is the exact same power supply as the one I have in here. It's that uh, 12 volt to constant 5 volt. It's the exact same one. I bought two of them, one for this one and one for my case over here. But I cannot for the life of me figure out why this one just keeps going through this boot loop. And you can see it is still going. It's been trying to do this and boot up for about half an hour at this point. All right. I don't know. Please help. Appreciate it. See you later.